Hello Meets Beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be testing out some new products from the Wet n Wild Launch Coffee Cat. I'm so excited, so appropriate for fall, and I cannot wait. I have the palette and I have a lip gloss to test out in this video. So if you guys enjoy this video while you're watching, you can give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe because I do upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. So I'm actually in the middle of filming another wear test Wednesday. Uh, it should be up by now, but here is the Wet n Wild Coffee Cat palette, and I have the coffee cat lip gloss when I ordered this they only had one color on Ulta so I'm not sure what the deal is there but we're gonna be testing those out this coffee cat shadow palette retails for $8.99 it says it's currently out of stock but hopefully it comes back soon because the colors are in the corner right here it does say it's coffee scented just gives me the fall vibes. Look at the palette, oh my goodness. Then we have the Coffee Cat Lip Gloss. I have the shade No FOMO. It looks like on Ulta they do have the other two shades. I would have loved to get La Vida Mocha or Deja Brew. Those would have been awesome and if this is great, I'm definitely gonna pick that up. But when I ordered it, it just had this. Now online it looked a lot more peachy than it is in person. It's definitely more of a light baby doll pink. This retailed for $2.99, so I'm very excited both of these products are cruelty free, gluten free, and vegan. So let's go ahead and try out the Coffee Cat palette. We are zoomed in close. I have everything on except lips and my eyeshadow. It's gonna drive me crazy. I need to wipe off my foundation lips there. Online it says it's a 16 perfectly flavored and customized shade palette. It's the ultimate top shelf blend. The rich pigments and payoff apply effortlessly with a soft glide finish. So you have the perfect color palette to design your own latte art masterpieces. It has mocha browns, latte nudes, dark roast pigments in satin matte and shimmer finishes. It says long lasting wear, so I guess we'll see. Um, I'm not gonna do an update, but I will update you guys down in the description how it wore. I definitely want to continue testing this out, not just in the first impression today, but going forward, I have a feeling I'm really gonna like this. So let's go ahead and open it up. Okay, that was the worst ever. Almost broke my nail, but now it's off. Look, that is just the cutest little packaging ever. It looks like right off the bat, there's four shimmers, two or three satins, and then the rest of them are mattes. Yeah, I don't know, I mean, I smell it. I smell it, but I don't think it's like coffee scented. It's just, I don't I don't know what the scent is. It's not necessarily like a pleasant smell. This is what the palette looks like. Love the color scheme. Love this shade, this pukey mustard. I'm all about it. Has some really pretty pinks, lots of neutrals, lots of browns. Perfect for this time of year. So I'm very excited to play around with it. At the very end, I will insert some swatches just in case I don't use all of the shadows. I feel like that's super helpful to see how they apply, but then the ones that I don't use, you still get to see how they perform and what they look like. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a big fluffy brush. I'm going to take the shade this one in the corner this matte brown oh look if they have oh okay this is cool on the back of the palette it does have the shade names on it it doesn't have any labeled on the actual palette but you turn it over and it has the shade names so I'm gonna go in with the shade have the coffees <laughs> it's this one right here that's really nice I don't think I've seen another drugstore palette do that yeah I don't know if I I mean I smell the coffee a little bit but it, to me it's just fine it's not an amazing scent this shade is really pink pigmented. Blending super nice, nice and neutral brown shade. Um, I'm going to go in with a different brush. Let's take this pukey shade. We got to go in with this one. I really wish that I got the darker shade, but that was the only thing they had at the moment. And it wasn't even on Ulta when it launched. It was like a few days after that I saw it available. Wow, that's really pretty. I like that. These mattes are blending really nicely. So I'm thinking let's stay with the kind of uh, muted mustardy browns in the palette. There are definitely some peachy pinks in here. Maybe I'll take this shade right here and put it in the outer V. I like that. It's like a dark red. Oh, by the way, the pukey mustard shade is called Your Best Shot. And then I just went in with the dark matte red shade called Caffeine Loading. This is perfect for quarantine and fall. The shade that's calling my name is either, wow, this one 
or like one of those two shades, maybe this shade. Both of these shimmers swatched really well. Like they're very soft. So I think I'm gonna take this one. It's a little bit more of that icy mocha type shade. Let's see how it applies on the lid. I do use my finger for all of my shimmer shades. Just I feel like that's the best way to really build up shades. Okay, this one's not blowing me away. Look at that. That's not very great. So maybe that one's not amazing. It's looking like you can build it up, but it's still very subtle. And I'm pressing kind of hard. Yeah, so that shade you do have to build up a bit. Let's add the um, other shade I was thinking of using on top, because this formula feels different than the first shade that I used. Let's just add it. All right, that's what I'm talking about. That is way better. This feels much softer than the first shade that I went in with, and already you can tell it's way more pigmented. Kind of cool to have like this like silver mocha shade kind of coming through, but I definitely think this shade is way better than this one up here in the corner. This one was just like not very apparent. This is the shade Cream and Sugar. This one that I went with the second time over my lid is called Espresso, Espresso Self. All right, I really like how that turned out. I was definitely disappointed with this shimmer in the corner, but this one was really, really nice. And then they do have a very light pink kind of metallic magenta hot pink shade going on and then kind of a deeper red toned pink. I think I'm going to take my flat definer brush. Let's go in with the darkest shade in the palette, which is Hug in a Mug right here. It's a dark matte brown, has a little bit of a purple tone to it. Now this palette does have a matte cream shade to set down your lid with if you are into that. I just typically use a normal like translucent powder. Next I'm going in with my pencil brush. I'm going to take that mustardy color right here. Just to smudge out that lower lash line a little bit. This is one of the first button palette palettes I have vibed with so hard. And I really, I'm with most of the shades, I'm very surprised and happy with how they perform. Let's go ahead and add some mascara to the look. I think that's all I'm gonna do. I mean, I could add this satin white shade right here called uh, Make It A Double to the inner corner. Now it is satin, it's not a shimmer, so I don't know how well this is going to show up. Okay, it did give like a little pop. It was kind of subtle, but it was still there. I am gonna go get a brown eyeliner, so I'll be right back. All right, so I just grabbed my LA Girl Glide On Gel Liner in the shade brown. Don't normally wear eyeliner nowadays, but I feel like this look really called for it. I very much enjoy the color scheme of this palette. Like the color story is right up my alley and I feel like up a lot of people's alley. Unfortunately, a lot of drugstore palettes tend to be very bright, vibrant palettes that don't really go well together. Like it's, you cannot use just the one palette. I don't know, just something about other drugstore eyeshadow palettes don't impress me. And so this is really the first one that I use that I say, wow, th I think this is worth the money for sure. Let's add some mascara. Mascara is on. I definitely really, really like how this turned out. This could absolutely be an everyday look for me. Really love the palette, love it a lot. Let's go ahead and test out the lip gloss and then we'll get to the swatches. All right, so I'm gonna take a neutral, kind of a literally neutral lipstick. This is the Revlon Super Lustrous Matte in the shade Pick Me Up. Okay, I don't know what's happening with this side of my lip. Why do you look this way? I think it's cause this is getting like saggy, you know? All right, well that's a little better. It still looks weird, but it's fine. So again, I have the shade No FOMO. Not sure about that name. It's infused with watermelon seed oil, amarillo oil, zaminia seed oil, sunflower seed oil, and baobab, baobab seed oil to help improve the texture of your lips, keep your pout nourished, simple, and healthy. And this is cruelty-free, vegan, and gluten-free. This pearl pigment delivers a brilliant three-dimensional luster. So let's just go ahead and see. Again, I have a very neutral lip on. The packaging of the lip gloss is is super cute, it very much matches the palette where the palette has a little coffee cat on it and then this also has a coffee cat around the lid. 
Now this smells more like coffee. The eyeshadow palette didn't really to me, but this smells more coffee-like. So let's just see, oh. That feels very nice on the lips. The color on the doe foot looked a little concerning, but on it really doesn't look too bad. It did brighten up my lips a little. It's not too subtle of a shade, like you can see it on the lips, but it's not too pigmented. It does feel very nice on the lips. I can tell it's going to be more of a slippy formula, so it's not sticky at all right now. If you like your lipsticks to last a long time, I'm not sure if this is it. Just because right now, I can tell it is going to slip and slide a little bit more than a longer lasting lip gloss, but it is really, really pretty if you're okay uh, reapplying it a few times throughout the day. Now let's go ahead. I do want to swatch this just so you can get an idea without it on top of the lipstick. So that is the lip gloss. Super pretty. It is definitely more of that light peachy pink shade though. And yeah, I'm happy with it. I definitely would purchase other shades from this uh, line because I do want to see the darker, a little bit more fall-y kind of shades. I wouldn't say this is a fall shade, but it is very, very pretty. It feels really nice on the lips. So again, here is the shades in the palette. If you like neutral shades, you're definitely gonna love this. So let's go ahead and swatch the first row. And if for the rows, because that is kind of how they're labeled in the palette, it goes this way and not this way. So I'm going to swatch this as row one, and then this is row two, row three, and row four. So that right there is the first row in the palette. The white is actually really, really pigmented and this shimmer shade down here is the same formula as the second shade I used on my lid. So it is very pigmented. Love both of these matte browns, awesome transition shades. In the first row, we have Cream and Sugar, Mean Muggin, Don't Give a Frap, and Huggin' a Mug. That is the second row. You can see this shade right here is the satin white shade that we put in the inner corner. This shade is the second one I used all over my lids. So pretty. Both of these mattes are very pigmented, really easy to blend. And in the second row, we have Rise and Grind, No Coffee, No Worky, Free Refills, and Cool Beans. So this is the third row in the palette. This swatch got a little janky. It was really pigmented. This is a nice neutral peachy shade. This shade is awesome, super pretty. This is the same formula as the first shade I tried to use on the lid, like the coffee and cream one that was just kind of eh. Definitely not the same formula in terms of shimmer, but still pretty. And then this last shade in the palette is a satin, but it's just so pretty, so deep and very pigmented. And in the third row, we have Make It A Double, Espresso Self, Your Best Shot, and coffee loading. And this is the last row in the palette. This top shade is the first one I went in with on my lid. As you can see, it's just not nearly as like dramatic as the others. The mattes right here are gorgeous. This shade right here used in my lower lash line. All of these are so pretty. And in the fourth row, we have Just Brew It, Have the Coffeels, Pop Pop Cappuccino, and Mocha Me Happy. So I think right away in the swatches, you can see like the mattes swatched amazing. And I think the shimmers in this palette are good. I would say half of them are amazing. Half of them just are just okay. But really what stands out to me in this palette is the amazing mattes. They all had the same consistent formula in terms of feel when I was swatching them. Really easy to swatch and just in using them, I had a really easy time blending them out on the lid. So I would say the star of the show for me is the mattes in the palette, but I do like some of the shimmers as well. I also really like this. Definitely want to get a deeper, more fall appropriate shade, but this would be really pretty to use like in the summer months too. So there you have it. Those are my thoughts. Do I think you should get this collection? Yes, it is really, really good. Definitely one of the top tier things I've ever tried from Wet n Wild. Um, if you guys have tried out this collection or if you plan to pick it up, let me know that down below. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video here. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.